Thank you for joining us today. Absolutely splendid day here in Inverloch for the 2018 Simpson Family Christmas Stakes. The full field of horses here today, they're just chopping on the bit to take out this year's major event. Last year's champion, Red Face Disease, moving into the gate now. Mum's burnt chops not impressing the punters at 100 to 1, and don't hold your fork like that, a long shot going in now. Yogurt in the shower and Mrs. Moon's piano lessons also taking position. Last to go in, it's Grand's Lemmington's and Grandpa's hearing aid. The field is now locked away for the 2018 Family Christmas Stakes. Start to hold the button. They're off. Great line out and just listen to the crowd. Everyone's drunk and the Flanagan's jump well. Richmond versus Collingwood fairly away. Next is I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Don't hold your fork like that and Josie's cleavage. They're closely followed by memories of peppercorn leaves in the pool, the witch next door and Mrs. Moon's piano lessons. Approaching the first turn we see Buffy's escaped and Yogi still wears that brown belt round the corner behind the witch next door close behind them. This champagne's not cold enough and windsurfing widow are revved up and steaming forward. In the back now of the field it's Friday's day off. Mum's burned the chops and Mum's had one too many sherries. Then two lengths behind is Janine Jokes followed by a late Thursday dinner and there's no bloody hot water. The final pack are scrambling for ground. <coughs> Throat noise on the phone to Black and Smith. Red face disease and hoof hearted. Thumbs up, bring up the rear. And now at the 1500 mark, everyone's drunk at the Flanagan's again and late Thursday dinner pressing on too. With Dad's got the giggles nice and prominent up front. Dean's flooded the bathroom and yogurt in the shower, both loving the wet track here today. They power on outside pass, don't hold your fork like that and Canton's a rip off. Throat noise being challenged now by Janine's jokes at Mrs. Moon's piano lessons. It's Josie's cleavage ran well last weekend. Josie's cleavage ran extremely well but seems distracted by Richmond versus Collingwood today. Brian's got the giggles and Grandpa's hearing aid making an awful noise. Mum's had one too many shoes and this champagne's not cold enough, also falling behind now. Windsurfing Widow and I've been eaten alive by mosquitoes, moving up on red face disease, but throat noise is blocking them in. On the phone to Black and Smith, Mum's burnt the chops and everyone's drunk at the Flanagan, fighting in there for last place. Here again comes Dad's got the gold once again. Now with a thousand metres to go, folks, for the 2018 family stakes. Thumbs up, hoof hearted. It has the crowd on its feet as she flies up the outside, closing the gap to peppercorn leaves in the pool and Canton's a rip-off. <laughs> Ahead of them is Yogi's going back for seconds. Don't hold your fork like that. Brian's got the giggles again. Everyone's drunk and the Flanagan's in full stride now. And there's no bloody hot water. Throat noise just ahead of them. The witch next door has disappeared for now, but Buffy's escaped again. Yes, it's Yogi still wearing that old brown belt, and Janine Jokes still in with a chance today. More shouts from the crowd as Mum's burnt the chops. This champagne's not cold enough. Makes their move now. Very quiet today. Grand's Lemington and Mrs. Moon's piano lessons posing no threat to the younger field. Grandpa's hearing aid and Yogi's hearing back for seconds, moving up against the rails now, trying to steal an advantage off Josie's cleavage. Now spinning out of the final turn, it's clear that Friday's Dad's Day Off and late Thursday's dinners are in collusion with Brian's Got the Giggles. They are trained by the same team behind everyone's drunk at the Flanagan's, Mum's had one too many sherry's, red face disease. One might even speculate that they've had a train in training Mum's burnt shops as well. This champagne's not cold enough, falling flat as a biscuit now, and peppercorn leaves in the pool, and don't hold your fork like that, disappointing the fans. Janine Jokes and Yogi still wears that old brown belt, just never getting old, as I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes, heads inside. Opening out onto the straight now, there's no denying that Canton is a rip-off, and there's bloody hot water, where is it? Joe Noise is settling in their sights on the winning post, it's thumbs up, who farted, causing a raucous in the pack. No, seriously, who farted? <laughs> the dog? God damn it! Oh. Mum's burnt the chops, probably the result of on the phone to Black and Smith. All Mum's one had one too many sherries. Hard to say at this stage of the race. Late Thursday dinner ahead of Brian's got the giggles by a nose. Lucky Friday's dad stay off and drunk of the Flanagan's isn't far away. Now late Brian was windsurfing widow making a commotion with Janine jokes and Yogi's going back for seconds. Mrs Moon's piano's lessons a waste of money for the punters today. What a disappointment that is. As they head down the straight now towards the post, the speed is on early. Buffy's escape making a dash to the open space. Jace's cleavage now breaking out away in front. This champagne still
still could not be cold enough for some. On the phone to Black and Smith, holding up the rest of the pack, and our mum's burnt the chops. Folks, it's Richmond and Collingwood, nowhere near the top eight. Why do they even bother those two? But today, there's no bloody hot water. And throat noises are still streaming across and just getting into their stride on a wide barrier. Throat noise, clearly, the jockey wants to leave. Can tongues a rip off, and thumbs up, who farted? And he's going to get it. Yes, <laughs> throat noises clearing the air as they sort themselves out after hoof hearted. I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes as being attacked now and falling back in the pack. Grand Flemingtons, yes, travelling well from Horsham. There's no bloody hot water on the inside. Probably making the most of the wet track left behind from these flooded bathroom earlier in the race. Red faced disease who came out probably earlier in the race has now faded away. Don't mind your book like that, a lot handier than usual today. There's a surprise. He's keeping wide of mum's had one too many sherries. Doesn't want to repeat of last year's protest. Now with just a hundred metres to go, <laughs> Freight Noise is in full gallop and closes in on the lead. But it's thumbs up, hoof hearted. Cantong's a rip off and there's no bloody hot water. Cantong's a rip off now. The Queensland horse being booed by the local crowd. Clearly not a favourite of the punters today. <laughs> Freight Noise tries to clear again but can't quite catch the race leaders. Peppercorn leaves in the pool looking to take advantage of the northerly tailwind. Gets in near and out of the rail from Brian's Got the Giggles who's taken up a nice position on the inside. He's followed two lengths away by a wall of them. Everybody's drunk at the Flanagan's Yogi's back for seconds. Janine jokes, Grand Flamington's all fighting hard. And Mr. the Wish next door just needs a broomstick instead of a whip. Grandpa's hearing aid is lost. Still waiting for late night Thursday dinner to make its move. Where is Brian's got the giggles tonight? Mum's burned the chops, doing well for a grey mare, reminiscent of last year's winner, left the saucepan on. She's on fire now. This is noon piano lessons, deep and trying to get in. Josie's cleavage is getting a lovely run today and getting lots of looks from the men's section on this warm afternoon. Puffy's escaped and nowhere to be seen now. Yogi in the shower is left behind and Yogi's still wearing that old brown belt over on the inside. Windsurfing widow is settled beautifully to the dash to the end. If only this champagne was cold enough for her. And it great noise and Canton's a rip off fighting for first place. There's no bloody hot water challenging Canton's a rip off out wider. All horses striding along in a breathtaking tempo. Great noise edges by her neck. This champagne's not cold enough, not letting go. There's no bloody hot water. Oh my god! Oh, thumbs up everyone! Who farted is bursting out of the pack and thundering past the others. Thumbs up! Who farted everyone? Seriously now, who backed that one? Great <laughs> noise seems to be choking now, falling behind. There's no bloody hot water. Canton's a river. Now there she is again. Oh my god, thumbs up. Who farted rips out of it. Thunders towards the finish line. Yes, I can smell it now. Thumbs up. Who farted? Followed by there's no bloody hot water and Canton's a river. But it's a photo finish for second and third. A brave effort from both horses. Brian's got the giggles, everyone's drunk at the Flanagan's, and I've been eaten alive by mosquitoes, <laughs> slotted in close behind them. Then came Josie's cleavage, Janine jokes, in front of this champagne's not cold enough, which has gone flat today. This is Miss Mood Piano Lessons at a complete waste of time today. Late Thursday dinner, and Grand Slamington's are next. Grandpa's hearing weights a long way off the money. Don't hold your fork like that, never a chance, Mum. Yogi still wears that brown belt, surprising the bookies. Surprising the bookies since Yogi's going back for seconds again. He's getting the stink eye from windsurfing widow now. Yogi still wears that brown belt, starting to feel a pinch slope. Dean's flooded the bathroom slowly right down now. Red face disease, witch next door, and Richmond versus Collingwood not standing a chance today. Better luck next year. Mum's burnt the chops, gotten well back towards the end from barrier one, whilst Peppercorn leaves in the pool, is last. Second last, and the three way at everyone's back is on the phone to Black and Smith. Well, what a race, folks. There you have it. The Simpson Chrissy Stakes. The winner, thumbs up, hoof hearted. What a sink this will cause in the racing community. Oh,